welcome to News Roundup on Unilab Television. I am Akimayo Stella. First, the headline. Outgoing Unilab BC attributes success to transparency and accountability. Unilab Women's Society celebrates president. Lagos Versity Unions give outgoing BC thumbs up, past incoming BC and consolidation. Tinubu loses first son. United Bowls Marino slams fan over Lukaku Boo. Trump's approval rating falls in lower since taking office. Now, the details. Nigeria's Minister of Budget and National Planning, Senator Uduma Udo Uduma, has advocated collaboration between the federal government and Nigerian academics in terms of research, monitoring, and evaluation of projects, programs, and policies under the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan of the incumbent presidency. Speaking on Monday at the University of Lagos, Senator Udo Uduma, who gave a breakdown of documentation and implementation of the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan, reassured Nigerians of President Muhammadu Buhari's commitment to ensuring the restoration and diversification of the Nigerian economy through the cardinal principles and objectives of the ERGP. The minister was a keynote speaker at the inauguration of the Center for Economic Policy Analysis and Research, CEPA, being another research center of the University of Lagos. The ceremony, which held at the Afe Babalola Hall of the University, featured a policy forum on implementation of the federal government ERGP. Senator Udo Udoma, who was represented by the Director of Macro in the Federal Ministry of Budget and National Planning, Mr. Tunde Lawal, gave an overview of the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan, describing it as a child of necessity caused by the economic recession, corruption, insecurity, and terrorism, among several other challenges plaguing the country. The Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Aman Belo, who was represented by the VC elect and incumbent DVC Academics and Research of the University, Professor Lua Tonyi Ogundikwe, described the Center for Economic Policy Analysis and Research, CEPA, as one of the six new research centers recently approved by the University with the aim of attracting more foreign and indigenous collaboration for the advancement of knowledge and development. This was corroborated by the DVC Development Services Professor Sokola Shadi Ogunshola, who expressed Unilag's readiness to support policymakers with needed facts, data, and information so as to ensure proper policy formulation and implementation. The outgoing Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Aman Bello, has attributed a successful tenure to transparency and accountability in dealing with entire staff, students, and the general University of Lagos community. Professor Bello stated this while addressing newsmen at the Valedictory Press Conference held on Tuesday, October 31st, 2017, at the Senate Chamber of the University. He also commended the staff unions of the University for their mutual understanding and cooperation during his tenure. While presenting his scorecard, the Vice Chancellor pointed out that the University under his administration was able to improve infrastructure despite lack of financial autonomy. He said under his regime, the El Kanemi Hostel is being upgraded into a master edifice with all rooms and suite, while engineering lecture theatre by Julius Berger Hall, scholars hostel, remodeled the Shuda in the Hall of Residence, Tayo Adirin Yoko Lecture Theatre at the Faculty of Business Administration, construction of the Academic Publishing Center, Public Procurement Center, and the ongoing Nine Story University Library were all the legacies of his tenure. The student's accommodation system of the University of Lagos received an additional 502 bed spaces, courtesy of the University of Lagos Women's Society, ULWS, the new two story building female hostel built under a build, operate and transfer BOT arrangement between the ULWS and the university's management was commissioned by the Vice Chancellor Professor Aman Belo as part of his validatory events. Performing the commissioning, Professor Belo described the society as a unique non-governmental organization due to its tremendous contribution and commitment to the society. Professor Belo gave kudos to the society for impacting positively on the development of Unilag especially the female population. In our address to welcome guests, the president of WLS, Mrs. Momudat Belu, said that the initiative was born out of the need to alleviate the problem of acute shortage of accommodation on campus for students of the institution, especially the females. Mrs. Belu added that the VOT agreement is for a period of 21 years after which the hostel will be transferred back to the university.
She expressed appreciation to the University Council and management for the constant support as well as those who donated towards the project. The President, University of Lagos Women's Society, ULWS, and wife of the Vice Chancellor, Mrs. Mamudet Belo, has been described as a woman of exemplary character, distinguished career person, and a quintessential leader worthy of celebration. At a dinner held in the Jalili Omotola Multipurpose Hall to the honor of Mrs. Belo, the Registrar and Secretary of Council, University of Lagos, Dr. Taiwi Fai, said the outgoing ULWS President had distinguished herself as a true leader having led the society aright in the past five years. The Registrar explained that the feats achieved by Mrs. Belo are only achievable when an individual is astute, dedicated, and imbued with high the leadership of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, Senior Staff Association of Nigeria Universities, SANU, Non-Academic Staff Union, NASU, the National Association of Academic Technologists, NAT, as well as representatives of the student bodies in the University of Lagos have described the outgoing Vice Chancellor, Professor Rahman Bilu, as a successful administrator. During an interactive party at the Senate Chambers on Wednesday, Sun Vice Chairman Mr. Ulubenga Kayode noted that the Vice Chancellor had made significant efforts in repositioning the institution as a university of first choice and nation's pride and had also achieved successes in various areas as staff children admission, staff accommodation, setting up of staff loan for easier access to loans and maintenance of law and order within the university. The union leaders pleaded with the VC to expedite actions on the promotion of university drivers whose promotions have been stagnated and especially artisans who have been required to provide all level results as a requirement for promotion, while also tasking the incoming Vice Chancellor Professor Uluwa Tony Ogundipe on the need to consolidate on the agenda already set by the incumbent Vice Chancellor. The entire management staff of the University of Lagos, led by the Vice Chancellor, Professor Aman Belu today, stood in honor of the outgoing boss of Dr. Latif Adekunle as he bows out of office. Being the November edition of An Hour with the Doing, a periodic gathering for intellectual importation with principal officers of the University of Lagos, as put together by the entire bursary and registry staff of the University, it's held at the J.F. Adiajai main auditorium of the university as against the Senate chamber where previous editions took place and it was entirely dedicated to celebrate Dr. Latif for Deconley's institutional loyalty, high ethical values and astuteness which has repositioned the financial status of the university. The presentation tag The Power of Synergy was done by the registrar Dr. Mrs. Taiwi Fire during which she reviewed Dr. Deconley as a community man, a devout Muslim, a family man, an inspirational leader, and a financial management expert and a team player for excellence. She acknowledged the administrative acumen, recalled the vision, mission, and work ethics of Dr. Deconley before assuming office and applying the review of the University of Lagos Policy Manual and Financial Regulation, as well as the conceptualization of an hour with the doing as legacies of Dr. Latif of Deconi. The Vice Chancellor Professor Rahman Bello was the signage of all eyes at the November edition of An Hour with the Doyen, which was also graced by the wife, children, and relations of the outgoing Bosa. While lauding the wisdom behind the periodic gathering, Professor Bello, who spoke glowingly about the outgoing Bosa, described him as a quintessential lieutenant whose professionalism has assisted the University of Lagos in maintaining a clean slate of finance. The outgoing Vice Chancellor also congratulated Dr. Latif for definitely successor and charged him to build on the sterling legacy already put in place in the University's financial management system. Dr. Latif definitely became the seventh bursar of the University of Lagos on the 2nd of November 2011 with a vision of real estate management and strengthening the university's endowment as he completes his tenure. He is to assume duty as embedded advisor to the Minister of Finance of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Stories are instruments used in projecting development and reading keeps everyone abreast with human development. A professor of English, Chidi 
Madrogu stated this while delivering his inaugural lecture titled In the Beginning Was the World, Then Are Stories at the University of Lagos. Professor Madrogu said stories are the easiest channel through which knowledge is transmitted and is also useful to any nation. The English scholar said prescription for writing and for writers have restrained creativity in writing stories. According to him, prescription sometimes hides the cloak of skills, theories or methodologies and it is also subsumed in different manners. The federal government has concluded plans to make importers take delivery of their cargoes cleared from Lagos port at Pakpalanto in Ogun State via rail lines. Minister of Transport Roti Miyamichi disclosed this at the just concluded World Maritime Day celebration in Lagos. The minister said the federal government had made provisions for the supply of 100 wagons and 60 locomotives to ease the movement of cargoes out of the port. He claimed the traffic congestion suffocating business activities in a proper area. He lamented the traffic congestion suffocating business activities in a proper area of Lagos. He said the new arrangement to reduce the log jam, stressing that the ministry is worried by the time being wasted in the port. And off we go to the world of sport. Manchester United boss Jose Mourinho has expressed disappointment at reactions from the stands in his post-match chat and feels Lukaku deserves respect from the club's supporters for what he has brought to the team. The Belgian international drew groans from the United crowd on Saturday as the host battled to break down Tottenham before his flick header sent Anthony Marshall away to score a late win at Old Trafford. Lukaku, who made a blistering start to his United career after an off-season signing from Everton, scored seven goals in his first seven Premier League games, but has, however, failed to find the back of the net in his last five outings for Mourinho's side, while he struggled to make an impact in the goalless draw at Liverpool. The Red Devil boss believes the Belgian striker deserves praises from the fans, describing his efforts so far as fantastic, given the fact that playing football for a striker is not just about scoring goals. Following the 10th round stoppage of a boxing fight, we saw heavyweight boxer Anthony Joshua successfully defend his title against Carlos Teca. The Nigerian-born British boxer, whose father and mother are from Shagamu, has promised to visit the state soonest to encourage the youth. Joshua, who defended his WBA and IBF World Heavyweight titles at the Principality Stadium, had earlier promised to visit Vladimir Klisu, defeating former World Heavyweight Champion, in April, but later postponed it owing to busy schedules. Spokesman for the Shagamu Youth Congress, Ayodele Osho, said the youth body had contacted the champion through one of his promoters to facilitate his visit to Nigeria. That ends the news roundup for this week, which came to you from Dinalan Television. I am Akimaya Television.